Good everyone. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, I will start a new series on uh, Salesforce Certified AI Associate. Now, this certification is kind of um, a hot topic in the market, especially in the Salesforce ecosystem, right? Because of the fancy artificial intelligence word associated with it. Now, I um, just wanted to uh, get a few things clear. Uh, you won't be learning anything about, you know, cutting edge, deep learning or machine learning models. Uh, what we're going to do as a part of this uh, certification, um, which is to, you know, which is about associate, right? It, it, as, as the name indicates, AI associate, is to cover the fundamental aspect of artificial intelligence, you know, in terms of uh, machine learning, deep learning, um, bit of AI ethics, right? Because obviously, you know, as the world is moving towards um, artificial intelligence, ethics plays a very important role, right? Now, like I always tell to people, right? It's great that Salesforce comes up with, you know, artificial intelligence uh, stuff, you know, uh, using point and click, and you can do a lot of stuff, right? But, you know, from my personal experience, like, you know, I've been in AI space for years, right? My uni uh, thesis back in the days was a neural network. So I've, and I've done a lot of work on MATLAB, you know, building, you know, different stuff and models and kind of stuff. So I am a more, I come from more from a mathematical aspect, right? So I, for me, when I talk about artificial intelligence, for me, it's mathematics behind it. And AI without mathematics is incomplete for me, right? It's just a, you know, a tool which people use it. It's not really AI, but that's beside the, the point, right? So this certificate is really going to be useful if you're in Salesforce ecosystem, want to understand the capabilities, what Salesforce offer from an AI ecosystem. So that's what this certification is about. Just to get, uh, uh, set the expectation right, right? Please do not expect any fancy, you know, algorithms that's, you know, that comes with it. I'm not going to get into the details about it, right? Because this certification is not for that. Okay, so how are we gonna do it? It's pretty simple, like usually, you know, what I often do, I go through the exam guide, right? That's exactly what I'm gonna do today. Um, and then I'm gonna go through different aspects from the trailer. I don't like to make slides, right? To be honest, it's just a waste of time. I can teach you guys from a trailhead and I can talk about it and can explain you from a real aspect context. I hope that's, that's enough uh, because I don't see the point in making a slide and copy pasting the stuff, right? Yes, if I wanted to add something different, yes, I'll, I can bring slide to the equation. But if I'm not going to do it, if I wanted to just to do the same stuff, right? Why to plagiarize the stuff to a different slide, right? So that's, that's my analogy. You, you can disagree, right? Okay, so enough of uh, the talking. Um, about different stuff. So let's get into the, the meat aspect of it, right? So exam guy, right? So as you can see, this is a pretty nice certificate, right? If you wanted to get into uh, the AI mode of things, right? So uh, audience could be, you know, anybody, in my opinion. Someone who has some understanding of the Salesforce platform. It could be an admin, uh, could be a developer, could be an architect, could be a consultant, could be, you know, could be a business analyst, right? Now, um, so why you should why should you learn this certification? Or why should you do this certification, right, to begin with? Well, there could be many reasons, right? Maybe your company wants to explore the AI capabilities, right? Maybe your boss might, you know, want to explore, you know, a future roadmap, which includes the AI from a Salesforce perspective. So he or she might want you to get certified. Or maybe you wanted to do out of your own curiosity, right? There could be various reasons, right? So what are all the things you're going to learn, okay? So, so the few things we're going to learn, like uh, a bit of a computer vision, a bit of a machine learning, a bit of a natural language processing, overview. I'm not going to get into nitty-gritty stuff, all right? Computer vision is extremely, extremely deep topic, NLP. Machine learning, you cannot cover this topic in like, you know, 20, 30 lectures. It's impossible for me to cover everything, right? There are different topics on machine learning. If you wanted to um, 
uh, search for it, you will find a lot of content online, right? There are different topics, to sort of machine learning, um, with different algorithms using Python. And, you know, if that interests you, right, you can go and check it out. Okay, and then we're going to talk about, you know, ethics and 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 data governance and bias and security and compliance, uh, which is very important in my opinion because if you're not going to talk about compliance, if you're not if you're not going to talk about ethics, then it's pointless to even talk about artificial intelligence because AI without ethics and compliance is a governance is a very a dangerous technology in my opinion, and we need to have the checks in place to ensure we deliver the right solution um, with ethics, compliance, and using the right data governance, right? Okay, now let's look at some of the housekeeping stuff when it comes to the certification, right? 40 multiple choice question, which is pretty different compared to your usual sales, Salesforce certification, right? Which often comprises of 60 questions, 70 minutes, not too bad. Passing score, 65%, 75 bucks, pretty cheap, right? Compared to other sales research, what we have. Retake, pretty free. So that's pretty much means that sales force want to push for it, right? And I can tell you, this is a pretty basic, sir, right? It barely scratches the surface of artificial intelligence, right? It is not an AI, or it's it just a associate, sir, right? So remember that. But I still believe it's a great search to take it. If you wanted to understand, you know, some of the terminology, if you're new to AI ecosystem, like I said, so it's great. Okay, enough of my rant. So let's jump into the exam outline, right? The 17% AI fundamentals. So let's see what we're going to learn. So basic principles and applications of AI within Salesforce, which is very important, right? You wanted to know how the AI will be used, right? Uh, yeah. Maybe you using flows or maybe in the service cloud or different aspects. And different types of AI and the capabilities. We you know find out what that is when we get into the course, right? 17%. So it's pretty important. <clears throat> AI capabilities in CRM. Identify CRM AI capabilities, which is great. Describe the benefits of AI as they apply to CRM. Not too bad, right? Ethics, 39%. This is why I was talking about ethics before, right? Why ethics is very important. 35% or 39%. Um, of the cert uh, is dedicated to ethics. Ethics plays a very important role. We live in a society, right, where everything is governed by ethics. We have a moral framework in pictures which is governed by ethics. If you take that ethics out, then we will be living in a very chaotic society. That that exact same framework applies in the world of artificial intelligence. AI without ethics will be a full of a mess, which we don't really want it, right? Okay, so we're going to look at the ethical challenge, human bias and machine learning, lack of transparency, which is very important for us to know. If you're, if you're someone who's building an AI solution, you should, you know, it might happen that you might bring your own cognitive bias into equation, which can be dangerous in the long run, right? So if you are, say, so for instance, um, if you are someone who, who hates, say, for instance, transgender, right, you might build a solution in such a way that, the AI will not behave properly when it comes to, you know, transgenders, right? Which is very unfair and which is not ethical, in my opinion. So that's a simple example I just wanted to give. And certain uh, segment of society, uh, you know, stigmatize LGBTQ community, right? So if if that section of the society wants to build an AI, so they obviously might. I'm not saying obviously, I'm, I'm, I just wanted to say they may bring that cognitive bias into question, which is not going to go very well, right, from a broader context. Now, why do I bring this controversial topic? Because I'm a kind of believer that everyone deserves equal rights, that, you know, we, this planet is for everyone, right? So no one has any right to discriminate against anybody. That's That's my personal belief, right? And if you think it's okay to discriminate, then... That's obviously that's your problem, in my personal opinion. So, um, so yeah, and and another question you can talk about climate change, right? There are a lot of people who are climate deniers. Imagine somebody building a machine learning to say, "Hey, we have no problem with the climate change. Everything is rosy." That's not really right, right? So, 
Yeah, so ethics plays a very important role, right? And I can talk about ethics for, for ages, but this is a very important topic in my opinion. And then apply Salesforce trusted AI principles to the given scenario, So, which is very important. Um, data for AI, uh, describe the importance of data quality. Obviously, the data is the king, right, in today's time. Data is the new electricity. Um, because with data, you control pretty much everything, right? Because data... Some because the data was billions and trillions of dollars because with data you can do a lot of things So the having a quality data is extremely important. So that's something we're going to have a look at it uh, components of data quality as I said Now what resource you can use to learn obviously you can watch my videos, which is Nice thing to do I would say um, other thing what you can do you can go here and it can prepare by prepare uh to, you know using different trails so i'll be teaching you guys from here anyway so but if you are someone like me who like video lectures uh who like someone to teach you then obviously you might like my uh you know tutorials so so yeah we're gonna look at different topics like i said artificial intelligence fundamentals for business for customer service generative ai which is a very hot topic um, and for generative AI but versus predictive AI, right? And NLP and Einstein, you know, meet trusted AI principles, ethics. Um, we uh, data analytics fundamental. So I, if you're gonna follow, follow along, right? And I'm gonna use V, right, instead of I. So we're gonna cover the entire topic. Um, Maybe within 20 lectures. That's my plan. And I want it to be regular. I, my apologies, you might have seen. I was not much regular for the past two months because I was in Europe spending time with family. So it was a great trip. I really enjoyed it on that perspective. On the side note, I really had a great time. You know, we went to Romania. Um, we went to Germany. Uh, spent some time at my partner, um, you know, Frankfurt House. It's pretty nice. Um, and we spent some time in Switzerland, which is great. We spent time in Italy. Italy, you know, Italy is one of my favorite places in the world. And my from, uh, from different perspective, right? I mean, first of all, due to food and architecture, right? I got mesmerized when I went to Venice. The only only drawback was it's very hot. I think I went in the wrong time of the year. Uh, next time, I'm going to go in winter time because I like winter. I'm a winter person. I have extremely high tolerance for cold, but I have extremely low tolerance for heat. I cannot handle summer whatsoever. I get blisters everywhere. I, I get sick. I get depressed. I hate summer with extreme passion. You know, I just can't live in a country which is, uh, which got summers. New Zealand, right? For instance, uh, when I when I came back, supposed to be spring. Uh, this is the spring because it's October. And last night, the temperature was still three degrees. And I thought, oh, that's fantastic. I like this kind of weather, right? It's cold. It motivates me. I can do more stuff. When it's summer, I don't want it to go out. I get dull. I get extremely depressed. I just, just hate everything around it. So that's why my productivity fluctuates a bit. Fortunately, I live in New Zealand. We don't have much summer here, so which is great. If I would have lived in Australia, I would have, would have been dead by now because of extreme temperatures. They get right. I cannot live in Australia. Oh, it's a beautiful country, but the heat is unbearable. Their um, winters are like New Zealand summers. It's extremely mild. It's not a kind of place I would like to live. But no offense, as far as the country is concerned, it's a beautiful country. But yeah, it's good, great for holiday, but it's not for me to leave because of my low tolerance towards heat. But sorry, I digress. Just wanted to give an update why i've not been you know uploading much videos lately so that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this session uh, so i'm gonna make uh start uh talking about uh artificial intelligence fundamentals in our uh next episode so stay tuned to it i hope you guys have an amazing evening adios